Armory Disc Golfers, welcome back to another video. In this one, a Challenger approaches. So of course, we have to do a what approach disc is best video. Let's get into it. So Lone Star Disc just came out with the Copperhead, which is a putter if you want. Really, it's an approach disc with numbers 3402. So naturally, I'm gonna compare it to the discs that everybody throws. We got a Pig, which has a thumb track. Really excited about that one. A Zone, which needs no introduction. And a Harp, which is currently the disc that I throw in that slot. We're out here at Lester Lurch Park. We're gonna throw six holes. And we'll tell you definitively, without any question, no one's gonna argue this, which one of these discs is the best. Not making up some of these holes as I go, but this one is our hole one. It is 190 feet from our turtle statue friend to the basket over here. You got pond OB right, but I'm gonna be under the basket. I don't need to worry about any of that. Well, it's a good thing that one is straight-ish because I didn't leave it right at all. All right, next we'll go with a harp. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not really fair for me to throw the copperhead first and then just correct and dial in Four approach shots with other discs, yet here we are. The Pig, this is a brand new, very hard KC Pro Pig. And so I'm expecting it to do very pig things, like going to the basket. Not a great throw, but should be able to make that putt. I think it's kind of wonky for people to do disc review videos and putt with the disc that they're reviewing because you know putting with a driver or something like that like i said it's kind of wonky but these are all putt and approach discs there are some weirdos out there who putt with pigs and zones and things like that and if you do putt with them i'm not taking that back you're a weirdo embrace it so we're going to be showing these on the putting green as well take the results with a grain of salt yada 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 all right this one really isn't as bad as it looked from the tee Good, got it up. All right, so we should clean up a star frame, which really we should. This is only a 190 foot hole. Hole two, for us anyway. 220 feet, pretty straight, but it is an island hole. You have to get over the log and then the rough on the right plays as OB. But with all of these discs, we should be able to hang them out to the right and plunk them straight in. Into the basket, of course. Harp is up first. I might've been a little scared of the OB there and I missed the island because of it. Zone. Okay, I actually threw that one. It's not really fair to the harp, but the zone's gonna be parked again. Big time. Jeez, that thing is overstable. Whew. And now the copperhead, which I expect to be the straightest of everything that I've thrown thus far. Do it? Yeah, that flies a lot like a putter, more so than one of these approach discs. It just holds really straight, but it has that bulk to it that approach discs have. I really like it because it makes me feel really confident to hit on it hard, know that it's not gonna flip over, but still have a dependable fade at the end of it. Forehand and now backhand as well. The drop zone is washed away, but it's normally down in this area somewhere. So trying to save par with the harp and then the pig. I thought that was in. I thought that was in too. And even though I've made a circle two putt from the drop zone and then almost made another one with one of these discs, I stand by my comment. If you putt them, you're a weirdo. Third hole, 212 feet. It goes straight to, you can see this little post in the ground and then pretty much directly right, 50, 60 feet. So we're gonna start this time with the zone. Oh, I think that's really good. Yeah, well, if I can just replicate that three other times, we'll have another star frame. I might have thrown that one a little bit harder because I know that it's more overstable. Copperhead up third. This feels really good in my hand. Especially when it's cold outside. I mean, that's, it's straighter than a pig or a zone. And finishing off with the harp. Oh, beat it. Oh, it beat it. Beat everything else. Okay, Harp and Zone are gonna be parked again. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I saw it, I picked it up, don't worry about it. Well, my punishment for hitting a tree with the copperhead is a C2 putt. Break in there. Whew. 
I don't know if you can see me, but the pig only ended up 15 feet right from the basket. So we'll clean up three birdies here. Copperhead taking the lone par. Woo. All right, our fourth hole, 185 feet. This is a really cool one to throw with these sort of discs because although the basket is straight, you either have to throw a forehand Anheuser that breaks out and finishes through this tiny gap on the left or an Anheuser that will hold pretty much the entire way and then fall flat on this right side gap, which is the one that I'm gonna go for. I wanna say a couple things about the Copperhead since all these other discs have been reviewed and used for years and years and years. The Copperhead comes in V1 and V2 plastic. V1 is softer plastic and V2 is a little more firm. This is V2. I love the way this feels. It has enough firmness to it to where I don't worry about it wobbling around in my hand as I crank over on it. And it's soft enough to grab the ground whenever it lands. Being able to grab the ground is great for an approach disc. I love being able to just range in shots and place the disc exactly where I want it to go and not have to worry about a ton of ground play and calculate all that in with everything else that's going on in my head while I'm lining up a shot. But for this hole, we're starting with a pig. Oh, I think that's great. Man, that's a stable pig. There is a hill behind the basket, so I think that pig just went down that hill and I'll probably have like an 80 footer. Copperhead. Get through it. Oh, it got through it all. Get in the hole. Ace. Sound like I hit a tree behind it. I like both of those releases so far. That copperhead release was a little squirrely, but it got through. Let's continue that trend. Oh, the best of the group. I guess it should be the best of the group since it's the third one that I've thrown. All right, Zone, show me why everybody loves you. This your king? This video is the most I have ever thrown a zone in my life. I don't know why, I've just never thrown them. But that wasn't fair to the zone, so I'm gonna throw it again. Okay, well, I mean, I didn't re-throw the others when I went OB, so it is what it is. Like I said, this will be a super definitive video. I look forward to the agreement in the comment section on the validity of these results. Let's play a game. Where are the discs? We've got Copperhead, Harp, Zone. Oh, pig's back here. So nothing too bad. This looks like it's just inside the circle. It's gonna be tough to get it under this branch, but then up high enough to get in the basket. So we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right, zone, there's your par. And then the copperhead and the heart, which were almost on top of each other, both take birds and we'll wrap up par with the pig. Another thing about the copperhead that I want to mention is that it's a low profile disc. It doesn't look low profile because it has such a bulky rim, if that makes sense. I really like the way that that feels on forehand because it feels, feels really zippy, like I can just I don't know, laser the disc right where I want it to go. And especially with it being as straight as it is, I think that I can categorize this sort of like a pre-beat in zone or harp or pig straight out of the box because it has less fade, it pushes a little bit longer and just the feel out of the hand makes me really confident that I can hit lines. That being said, on backhand shots, now I don't like it as much. It's, it's very shallow. Some people may like that feel, but it just doesn't do it for me. This hole is two approach shots for the price of one. It goes up and down and then straight right. That actually might have pushed a little too long, but it should be all right. You want to push this right if you can, but don't go into the right stuff. Well, I took some off of it from the copperhead. And I think that'll be really good. Now I'll try to emulate that line once again with the zone. And here is the good old pig. Oh, I hugged that the tightest. That's gonna be the best. Go in. Ooh. Harp is just a little further up the fairway. I'm gonna run all of these, why not? All the fanboy, go in as well. Tell you what, one of them's going to. All the fanboys of one particular disc, especially you zone guys, I know how you are. You're gonna be mad if I run this too hard and end up bogeying with it. It'd make you mad, wouldn't it? You're a little bit scared I'm about to do something crazy now, aren't you? <laughs> I promise I was actually trying. It's just, it's hard to give an Anheuser run from this short. The pig is in the best spot because that's what pigs do, because pigs are the best, regardless of what the scores are for this round. I'm just gonna be able to Heiser dunk this one. No. Didn't put it out far enough.
I'm at Lester Lorch Park, which has beaver course and coyote course, and I'm not scared of coyotes. I'm equipped, after all, for anything that the course may throw at me, but I'd rather not be in their house <laughs> while they're active. So we're gonna wrap things up. We're going down towards the water. It's about 50 feet behind the basket, 230 feet downhill-ish. Gonna put these on backhand, see how long they hold, Anheuser or straight, how hard they finish. Oh, she's gonna fade. Woo. That actually checked out pretty nice. Now the pig is definitely going to fade. Pigs. Now this actually is the disc, I think of all of them, that I'd want to throw on this line because it's gonna go the straightest. I don't want to bag too many approach discs, but the Copperhead is really nice. It has that bulky feel in the hand, but it doesn't have a ton of fade to it either. It really wants to stay straight backhand and forehand. I'm not worried about it turning over or dumping super hard. Like I said, the plastic does a pretty good job of grabbing the ground once it gets there. There's something to be said for that for this throwing putter approach disc slot. I think it can be a consideration. Here's a harp. Keep going. I mean, all of these can be a consideration, really. These are four great discs. The sun has gone down and it's freezing. If you've watched to this point and you haven't liked the video, please do so already. And give me a sub if I make this putt. We got to. I'm gonna finish up this star frame here. And I do want to know in the comments section, which one of these discs do you bag, would you bag? Or if you have another disc, what is it and why do you choose it over one of these? I'm curious to hear what the community has. I know we're not all going to agree. You've listened to me ramble, so I want to hear from some of y'all. This disc is trash, and if you bag it, you are too. We've got all of these discs at armorydiscgolf.com, so go ahead there and equip yourself for whatever the course may throw at you, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. That's not so bad after all.